Hey everybody, Ogre here again for Ogre Breaks, doing a little box opening. I got two of the mega boxes of Bowman 2024. Uh, I believe today is the official release date of it. Um, I know some stores are doing pre-sales of it. Uh, I think Fanatics, Target, I think you could have maybe ordered it ahead of time. Um, I think today they just went live on the um, Topps website. But uh, $45 a box. Uh, I saw Walmart has these for $50 a box. You get four 10-card packs of Bowman Baseball. 2024 and then two exclusive five chrome mega packs which is like the mojo refractors um usually in these products now i haven't opened up any of these yet nor have i seen any of these opened either uh usually the base packs no chance of pulling any parallels or anything like that it's usually probably like five five or six of your regular um base set paper maybe an insert and then or no i think it's like five paper an insert maybe like two paper prospects and two chrome prospects i think is usually the format um but like i said uh you do not get any uh chances of any parallels and then the, the mega box packs those are the packs that have the potential chance of parallels so so let's let's still open up the base packs uh, i know some people like to just completely ignore these with these uh these boxes but uh we got nolan chanel ronnie mauricio zach giloff anthony volpe corbin burns then we got a Walt walter jenkins first paper okay paul skeens justin crawford then we got bryce matthews and john john weimer or weimer uh so maybe, maybe actually maybe these packs are on the inserts I'm not too sure, though. I can't remember from, like, previous years. We got Lawrence Butler, Nick Gonzalez, Arenado, Julio, Bo Bichette. Yeah, maybe no inserts in these packs. We got Cooper Pratt first, Blake Mitchell, Garrett Forrester. Then we got Tommy Troy and Brooks Brannon. So, realistically, you know, you're looking for Jenkins. You're looking for Cruz. There's a few other names, you know, definitely with some potential. Um, so basically you're kind of just looking to hopefully get lucky. Maybe you just get at least a Chrome Robert Collis, uh, decent one there. Aiden Miller, another decent prospect too. Michael Arroyo. We got Ronnie Hernandez and Miles Naylor. And all right, last of the regular base packs. We got Austin Wells, Verlander, Ellie De La Cruz, Bobby Witt, Francisco Alvarez. We got Cappy Ortiz. Uh, did Turi, Colton Ledbetter, then we got Cespedes first, and Brock Wilkin uh, first as well. So, did all right. Got a couple of firsts on the Chromes. Jenkins, probably the the best prospect out of all of it. So, all right, let's see what we get. And we got, uh, no, actually, that might not have some color. I think that's a Rookie of the Year favorite. We got George Wokal. Not bad there. Cerna. Then we got Marte on the Mojo, Rookie of the Year favorite. Jared Dickey and Douglas Gold. So not bad. Got at least we got all firsts on the, the Mojos. These I will sleeve up quick. A lot of the other stuff I'll sleeve up off camera. But uh, I mean, you know, didn't really get any of the big, big, big names. Uh, Cal might be our biggest name out of people that are chasing uh sir is one of those names i'm honestly not too familiar with off the top of my head um 20th prospect according to back of the card but uh that definitely i'm sure has uh been adjusted since uh the season has started so all right so we got we got brock porter do we get a jackson holiday and i think we got some color so let's pull these to the front we got jose rodriguez first celestine holiday definitely decent name even though it's not his first uh tigers riley green to 99 so our only vet card number to 99 uh which actually i'll be honest with you too i didn't really also check to see i mean riley green player i like personally um i didn't really check to see the mojo checklist um 
I want to say it was like 50 and 50 vets and prospects last year. Um, because I think it was like a hundred card checklist for the whole mojos or for all the mojos. Um, but I honestly I don't remember off the top of my head. Um, so I'm not too sure if they did it the same way this year like they did last year. But all right, let's see what we get in the second box. I mean, 99 Riley Green. I'll gladly take that. Would love to be able to at least pull an autograph out of this box, but we'll see. We got Henry Davis, Luciano, Kershaw, Gavin Williams, Yoshida. Then we got Bryce Matthews, Tejada, Montez, then Rockefort, and Chicka Burke on the Chromes. We got Manny Machado, Alcantara, Dominguez, Trout, Verdugo. Then we got Ortiz, Walcott, Rockefort. Then we got David Guzman and all right, Kyle Teal. Decent name there as well. Let's see. We got Adley Rutschman, Lawler, Steer, Lofton, Correa, Morabell, Matt Shaw, Chase Young. Then we got or Nemo and Max Anderson. And our last regular pack. We got Altuve, Senga, Sodashram, Turner, Walker, Weaver, Williamson, Tashawn Walton. Then we got Ledbetter and Carson Weinhurst to finish off the base packs and for the Mojo packs. Like I said, love if we could have pulled one auto. We got Ryan Lasco, uh, another rookie of your favorites, it looks like. Hey, we do get an auto though. Dylan Head, uh, base auto. Um, he was traded actually from the Padres to the Marlins, if I'm not mistaken, in the uh, Luis Arias trade. Um, all right, did get an auto at least. Can't complain there. Um, of course, you know, would have loved to be one of those. Well, actually, with the Mojos, they're not technically first because I think they use an image variation. Evan Carter, Rookie of the Year favorites. I'll take that. Enrique Jimenez and Bryce Matthews. So we are hitting first, at least on the Mojos. So that's been a good thing. Just haven't been able to hit, hit any of the heavy hitters. Um, but... Uh, like I said, I think the Mojo first, I don't think any, or the Mojo autographs, I should say, I don't think any of them are first because they do use a different image or they have at least past years, I'm assuming. So, but all right, let's see. Last pack of the opening. Definitely appreciate you guys watching. We got Brian Churro, Ethan Salas. Oh, these prospect power-ups are actually pretty cool with the, uh, the Mojos. Uh, Jackson Holiday. Morales, not too bad there, and Montez to finish it off. So overall, uh, boxes were okay, in my opinion. Uh, I do like these mojos with the prospect power-ups. Um, I think I need like one or two to complete the actual set of these from regular Bowman. I just been, I just kind of been lazy about just kind of picking them up off of eBay or something like that. Um, but the mojo, the mojo ones are actually pretty cool. I may may need to put together that set but that's actually pretty sharp um but overall you know we definitely got pretty lucky with some of the bowman first uh, at least on the mojos like i said unfortunately none of the really big big hitters um you know i know i know some people are you know a little excited for this guy because of his brother but um you know as we can see like what happened with tatis's brother what was it like la was it last year or two years ago? i think it was two years ago um but i mean overall we got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten we got 11 first out of the mojos so i can't be too upset about that we did get an auto we did get a uh, riley green uh green parallel uh number 299 which is pretty sharp uh like I said, I do like Riley Green, so I'm not mad at that at all. Um, and then our auto, uh, Dylan Head, uh, recently traded 
uh, from the Padres to the Marlins, I don't know, three, what was it about three weeks ago? Maybe that trade happened uh, two weeks ago, something like that. But overall, not too bad. Uh, let me know what you guys think about these uh, mega boxes. Uh, we will be doing a break of these very shortly. Um, if you're ever looking to get into any of my live breaks, uh, you can follow me on Instagram. That is where I post my breaks, how you can get into them um, and such. Um, but, you know, we will definitely be opening up some more. I'll probably be opening up a little bit more of this for myself on the channel as well, these mega boxes, and, uh, you know, see how we do. So with that, appreciate you guys. If you would like on the video, leave any comments from Bowman. Always like to hear your guys' opinions on these products. And with that, well, thank you guys for watching. Have a great day.